Welcome back, everyone. This one's a weird one. I got interested in um in this particular product because one, I played World of Warcraft, and second, if Flesh and Blood PVE had to be like anything, I hope it's like this. Uh, I've done some YouTube deep diving on the product. It's very old and is discontinued, but there's still a lot of these um, decks sealed. Um, but I wanted to just open one for myself, so I thought I'd record it while I'm doing it. The, it seems like it was, um, like it's really, this thing's heavy. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. So Molten Core was a raid in World of Warcraft, a quite a famous one, infamous one. There's some memes. No, not about Molten Core. It's Nax, but anyway. So this is like an old DVD case, the packaging. I think it was designed that you keep this and you replay it, I believe. So, um, whoops. That's an art card. I believe there's a rule book. We won't, I'm not planning to like dive into this. I'm just curious actually about one specific thing in these. Uh, these are the like oversized hero cards, which I really like the idea of. Uh, sorry, not hero, like the raid boss. So in this particular instant, I believe, and I don't know if that's like supposed to be peeled or that's how the foiling looks, but it's quite weird. So I think these are like, man, look at the damage on that. You think this has been opened maybe? Hard to tell. The packaging seems secure enough. Maybe it's just dinged from being years old and stored. Um, Ragnaros. I'm trying to remember this. So I've, I haven't actually seen this one. I've looked at something else. But I believe these must be summonables from the boss. Ragnaros is the boss. Uh, a couple of others had... Yeah, there you go. So, like, it flips and that's a different, like, version of the hero or the, the boss you're fighting, I believe. So... These are the decks. Uh, this is what I was hoping to see and get. So this is called, again, is designed to like be reused. I'm looking at this like, I don't know if this was at some point open and then repackaged or something heavy has been on it. It's just maybe been through a lot. It did come from the US anyway. So I'm not going to open this uh, for now. Basically, I don't play the game, never did. But that looks like the, see, different back on the deck. That was the deck I believe you play if you're the player piloting the raid boss, which was a cool thing. I don't know if Flesh and Blood planned to do anything like that. And then you have, um, uh, I think that's what that is. Maybe they're tokens. Maybe they're all raid boss decks. I don't know. But this was the cool thing. I've been talking to friends of mine about this. So each one of these came with a treasure pack. I believe it's all foils. And I believe there was um, like quite valuable cards in these uh, legendaries or possi the possibility of legendaries. Uh, I don't know how to tell if this has been resealed or not. Anything like that. I'm not really looking for value here. It's 10 cards. So I'll just count that there are 10. But more or less, I liked... I mean, this really looks resealed, though, doesn't it? There's, like, weird glue on it. There were very valuable cards in these back in the day, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was resealed. But again, every single card in these were foil. I'm trying to see the rarity. I believe it's the color on the bottom... Not the color on the bottom. I'll figure it out. But uh, I hope Flesh and Blood do this where there's like loot. That That's the whole point of me opening this. Um, they've confirmed PvE is probably roughly a year away. Uh, in this particular game, this is the class that could equip the particular card. So Wizard, Druid... Trying to remember, I did watch enough videos, I should be able to spot the rarity, but... So there's 30 cards to collect. Uh, maybe it's in the top. I love War Warcraft art, I, I played Warcraft 1 onwards. But very cool that this whole thing is foil and then it had access to like... Some crazy good items, basically. Uh, with Flesh and Blood, I hope that they have 
or they give us access to some crazy rare. Okay, so how do I tell the rarity? Because Sulfurus seems like a very rare thing to get. It is in the game anyway. But yeah, I haven't paid enough attention to the game to know. But um, there's your 10 cards. L the treasure, like the idea of a treasure pack just seems so cool to me in the vein of Flesh and Blood anyway. Um, obviously, this is a dead game now. I believe people still play this on Discords and... And on TTS, etc. If you're personally keen to get into it, uh, it's not dead as a game, it just doesn't get printed anymore. I believe there were some counterfeiting issues. Uh, what's the printer of this one? Upper Deck. I don't know if that was the company that had counterfeiting issues with for another game. And Warcraft discontinued the game completely and basically started doing Hearthstone instead. But anyway, this is my, this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to see, like, have a a look at it, a feel for it, compare it to um, Flesh and Blood, obviously, but I hope that we get some cool stuff like this in PvE when we get it uh, for Flesh and Blood, finally. Anyway, that's, that's the whole video. A bit of a mail day video just wanted to share while I opened it and looked at it myself. Alright guys, talk soon.